Hey everybody, Uber Dante here, and today I'd like to show off my latest tarot solitaire game called The World. And uh, this is my seventh, uh, the seventh game in the series. Um, and so let's get right into it. Um, it's based on this card, The World. On this card, you can see in the center this figure, uh, I believe it's uh, Wisdom, and she's in the process of creating. A new world. So the old world is ending. She's creating a new world here. Um, and another thing you might see in this card is in each corner there's a different kind of uh, creature. And I guess these represent different things. But um, one of the things they're said to represent is the four uh, basic four elements. So in this game, that's what they're going to represent. Um, the four suits of the tarot deck also represent the four elements. So um, in this game, world is going to be in this, the world card is going to be in the center, just like wisdom is the center of this card. And in the four corners around uh, your playing area, you're going to have these court cards, each of a different suit. I've also included the fool with them, but um, basically it's the court cards. And these represent like the four elements that uh, the world is using to kind of start creating the new world. And then you're also going to have uh, this draw deck, which is going to be energy. And she's going to uh, provide each one of these elements with some energy to um, kind of, I don't know, fulfill these and create a new world. Um, so what you're going to be doing is um, taking these these cards from your draw deck. These are, represent energy. You're going to be playing these um, to one of these element cards and trying to reach the number 21, at which point you can clear it and get a new uh, element card. And if you can clear all of the element cards uh, before the draw deck runs out, you win. Okay, so to set the game up, you're going to uh, take out all the court cards, the page, the knight, the queen, the king, and also the fool card, the 17 cards. You're going to shuffle them up, and then you're going to remove four of them from the game. So you have 13, um, shuffle them face down, and you're going to deal out four into the corners like I have here. The remaining 60 cards are going to be your draw deck, and you're going to shuffle those up and remove 17 cards from there. So 17, you removed four from the court cards, plus 17 from the draw deck. That's 21. That's the world's number, 21. Uh, so you remove 21 cards from the game. Uh, this makes the game a little bit shorter, um, which is nicer, and you also kind of have this uncertainty about what cards are going to come up, which is nice. Okay. Um, so I mentioned the basic gameplay is you're trying to uh, play these cards and you're just going to draw them one at a time. So you don't have it really have a hand. You're just picking the next card and you have to place it somewhere. Um, the only restriction is you cannot place the same uh, cards of the same suit um, next to, next to, let me try to explain this better. If I have a, a cup here, I can't place it on the king of cups here. So you can't place, um, the same suit as the element card. And so in the case of the fool, this would be a major arcana. So if you have a major arcana card, uh, come up, you can't place that, uh, next to the fool. Um, that's the only restriction. And then each one of these suits has a special ability. So I'm going to go over those next. Um, the Fool has no special ability, so you just have to get 21. The old-fashioned way, but the other uh, suits uh, give you kind of uh, different ways you can... Uh, different things you can do to make it easier to get to 21. So, for example, wands... You can add 
power to place this uh, wand here. You can add one to any card. You can add one to the value of any card that's placed there. So this nine could be a nine, or you could also use it as a 10. Um, that's wands. So uh, you can add one. Uh, next is swords, which I don't have here. Swords are, you can uh, take any card and cut, take half of its value. You can kind of cut it in half. Like I said, you're cutting something with a sword and you can take it half the value. So if it's a odd number like this nine, you can either round up or round down to the nearest whole number. So if I have this nine, if this was a sword, um, this nine could be a f nine or it could be a four or it could be a five. Um, if it was an eight or a four or something, then um, it could be a two or a four. Um, so that's swords. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, pentacles. Pentacles allow you to um, multiply or divide two cards uh, together to make a new value. Um, so if you had like a four and a two, you could uh, use those, multiply them, and make an eight. Um, and then you could add that eight to something else. So if you had a 13 or something, um, if you're dividing, it has to be like, uh, evenly divisible, whatever. Um, you couldn't do like nine divided by four, two or whatever. Um, you could do nine times four. I don't know why you do that, but, um, <laughs> you can, um, it has to be like evenly divisible. So that's a nut, that's what pentacles can do. So you can take two cards and do that. Um, you can't do three cards. There's some other, um, if you read the rules, you can see the restrictions, but basically you can take two cards and you can make a new, new value by multiplying or dividing them. And then lastly is cups. And cups is uh, you can basically ignore any card that you placed here. So maybe you placed like a 13, you placed uh, uh, a five or something, and then you placed an eight. So um, you could take the 13 and the eight, that would be 21, but you've also placed the five. But with cups, you could just ignore that five. Um, you can ignore any number of cards. So. Uh, that's pretty useful as well. So I'm just going to get into it. I'm just going to start playing the game, and then you can probably see um, how those work. Actually, I forgot to tell you about the world. The world also has a two abilities. And the world, you can only use their ability four times. So right now, they're kind of in the center. When you use their ability, then you kind of move them first here. So it's first time, then second time, third time, and then that's your last time. You can't use their ability anymore. So their ability is you can just take one card and move it to... Uh, you, sorry, you can take any number of cards from one uh, element area and move them to some other one. So you can take one card, you can take all the cards that are there. You can move any number of cards from one area to another. And the other thing you can do is just discard any card, any one card in play. So it could be the card that you just drew. You can't play it anywhere. You don't want to play it anywhere. You can discard it. That would be like using that card. It's an ability. So those are the two abilities that the world has, and you can do it four times. Okay, let's just get right into the game. So I'm uh, the fool doesn't have any special abilities. So I'm going to try to get the fool early on. So I draw this nine. Um, I already knew this before. I'm just gonna throw these in there. Okay, so we got thirteen there. So we're looking for eight. We got six. Um, this is the lovers. This is a major arcana, so I can't place this with the fool. So let's just place this uh, over here. The pentacles. 
let's see, the next 19. Okay. Um, all right. We'll place this. Um, yeah. What are we, let's place it with the cups, I guess. Um, oh, and I got a two. So 19 and two. Uh, I should have placed it over here. <laughs> so 19 and two is great. But this is cups, so I'm, I can't can't play the two here so i have to play this two somewhere else no oh, anyways we'll play it over here so now we've got 15 full and eight um where do i want to put this it's a wand so i can't put it with the wands this doesn't help me over here because i put that two there um so that's not good well, let's do, um, let's just put it here. We went over by two. So I can just use this. It's kind of early, but <laughs> show you how it works. I use this world's special ability, and then I can take this too. And I can't put it here because it's still the restriction still holds. Um, but I can move this to like over to the wands or something. Okay, and then now I've reached 21 for the Fool, so that's good. That's always a harder one because you can't use any special abilities, so then I can just clear it. Uh, let's go to the discard pile, and I get a new card. Here, which is another one. Okay, then I draw the next one. I got 10 um, of swords. So let's just throw that up at the wands. And then I got a one of swords. Mm. Hmm. Okay. And let's just throw that up there too. And then I got an eight. So yeah, that actually that's twenty one, right? So I don't have to use a special ability. I've got twenty one points, and I can clear the king of wands. And now I've got the Queen of Swords there. Okay, next card is a nine of wands. Mm -hmm. What do we want to do? Okay, let's put that with the swords, I guess. And I got the seven. Um, okay. Put it here. Sure. I can't put it with the pentacles. I don't want to put it with the cups. There's a two. So I can put it with the cups here and clear this one. Um, I actually like to have, one of my strategies, I like to have a cup card towards the end of the game because you can just kind of throw stuff in there. And I don't actually have to clear the card just because I reached 21. So I could just leave this one here. Um, and clear some of the other ones, but probably I'll get another cup. So let's just clear it and see what else we have. And there's another cup. So maybe we'll, we'll try to get this one if we can. Um, three of swords. Where do we want to put this? Maybe over on the pentacles. And I'm going to stop here, and I'll pick this game up uh, towards the end. You can just watch the end. Okay, so just pick it up here. It's not quite the end. Um, I want to show you how the pentacles works with the multiplication and division. So I've got a, a 6, 3, and a 4 here, and I just drew a 3. What I can do is I can do three times four is twelve. So these two cards together I can say are twelve, and then I can add them to the six and the three to make twenty-one and clear that way. Okay, so uh, now it is closer to the end of the game, and I wanted to show you how the uh, swords 
works. So I've got 18 right now in the swords, and I just drew this six. So what I can do is uh, I can say, okay, I'm going to cut this six in half. Makes it three. Three plus 18 is 21. I can clear that. Okay, I'm down to uh, just five more cards. Um, so it's going to be kind of tight here. So, all right, we've got a five. What have we got going on here? We've got 15. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do this. I'm going to place this one over here. I'm going to use the world's power again. Now, I don't want to use all of her abilities because uh, the end game can uh, the discard <laughs> our discard ability is useful at the end, but I will um, use her ability one more time. And I'm going to move this wand. I can't move it here. Let's just move it down here. And I can do 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So this is pentacles. I'm going to clear that. And once you down to 4 cards, you really don't need to clear them. It's, but it's in your best interest to just kind of keep these out here. Um, if, you, if you just keep clearing, you have one left, and then you, you draw something, you can't play it there. Um, you're kind of in trouble, but um, it's kind of a puzzle at the end. We'll see if we can we can do it here. I've got 12 cards left, so hmm, might be possible. Uh, okay, I got 10. 10 and 10 is pretty good there. Um, let's, I don't know, I have to hope for a 1 in that case, so let's put that there. Another 10. Okay, 10 of pentacles, that works. So 10 and 10. I can use the wand's ability to add one more. So I can, this is okay. But if I have to add an ace or something, I could still do that. So leave that there. We won't clear it. Let's just move these cards over here so we know it's, we're cleared, kind of. Put those over there. Seven. What about here? 15. Ugh. Okay, let's move this <laughs> over here. And six. Okay. Oh, it's a cup, though. So I can't put it with this cup. Mm, let's try the pentacles. A 10. Okay, ones. 17. Now we're getting close on the wands. Two. Well, that's what I, I put this wand here. What did I do that for? That was an illegal move. Okay. We have to move that one over here. I don't know where I put it before. Uh, that was an illegal move. <laughs> okay. Uh, two. Let's put that over here. And. Five. Okay. What's going on? Um. Okay. I put five here, and then I can do seven plus five plus nine is twenty-one, and I can ignore this six. I could also maybe push this six over here using the world's ability. I think that doesn't help me though, does it? Probably not. Um, okay, I only got five cards left. Okay, three. But look at these two are okay. Three, is that good? That's um, we got here 18. That's good, right? Okay, pentacle. I can't play it there. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so put that three up there. Give me another three then. And eight. Okay, 13 plus eight is 21. So, okay, great. 
Now I just have three cards left and I need to get this pentacle. And I've got 18, but I can also use, you know, I could divide here. Um, and I still have the world's um, special ability, so I could discard one card. So if I want to get rid of this 10 or something like that, I can do that. All right, let's see what we get. Nine. But it's a pentacle, which means I can't play it here, which means I'm going to use the cup's ability again and just throw it over on this cup because I can ignore it. Um, now I only have two cards left. A <laughs> 20. Okay, can I use it? Uh, 20 divided by 10 is 2. And I could throw it on the pentacle, but would it be helpful? 20 divided by 2 is 10. I can still move. I still move. I have all these cards over in the cup, so I could move something over here. What have we got? 18? I need three somehow. Um, I could move one over here. I could discard one. Can I do that? Which cards am I using here? The seven, the five, and the nine. Let's say this nine because it's a pentacle. So I could move this nine or this six over here. Yeah, I can move this nine. I have a two. That would be 11 and then 10. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use the world's ability to move this nine over here. And then use the world's ability one more time to discard this. Uh, cup, and now I've got 21 here, I've got 21 here, um, oops. I've got 20 plus 1 here, and I've got 21, and I can ignore that 6 here, so I won the game, I didn't play that last card, <laughs> um, and I had one more card remaining, so uh, that's a win. Um, and that's the world. So uh, if you give it a try, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.